I'm going to make a, uh, an omelet with smoked salmon, shallots, capers, and optional cheese. I just happened to, I want a nice hearty omelet. First thing we're going to, and I used uh, two eggs and one egg white. Just because I don't want to have so many eggs. I'm going to beat the eggs and add some ingredients to that. You can see the amount of butter I've placed in there. Two little pats of butter. I'm going to melt the butter first. You could use all butter, but I want the flavor of butter, but not as much butter. And then I'm going to put a tablespoon of olive oil in with that. You might think it's a lot for a non for a non stick skillet, but for an omelet, you want the eggs to move around quickly. And they will. And into the egg mix, <clears throat> the beaten up eggs, I'm going to place the capers. And the shallots. And the salmon. Why am I not cooking the shallots? I'm treating the shallots as if it were onions, but with a, it's a sweeter flavor as if I was eating a bagel with cream cheese and you don't cook onions or shallots if you're putting it on a bagel and I want and the salmon also I'm not heating it up because I want it as close to that texture as possible one more item that always goes with a bagel, cream cheese, and lox, and that's a tomato. So we'll put the tomato in with the eggs. This is going to be quick. <clears throat> now that this has melted, turn the flame up high. Always a high flame when you're making an omelet. And just take the ingredients, the eggs, and pour them in there. You could put a little pepper in there if you want, that's fine, but I'm not. Now you watch it, you see the edges start to come up a little, so you just push and pull and push and pull. And tilt. Now at this point, put the cheese right in the middle. Any kind of cheese you want. You don't have to use cheese as I said, but I'm using American cheese today. And then you kind of flip it. You can't flip it, just keep on, just turn it. I was just lucky that time that it flipped over. Now, lower the temperature as low as you can because you want the cheese to cook a little. And as you're lowering the temperature and cooking the cheese, just take a cover and place it over there for about a minute. That'll just help melt the cheese. And if you, if you don't like a soft omelet, Cook it a little bit longer. Myself, I like it a little bit soft, not well done. It's coming along nicely. Now just take the omelet, you can't turn it by hand, just line it up with the handle so it's straight like this, because you're going to want to put it on a plate the correct way, and this is the easiest way to do it, the omelet is long in line with the handle, so you bring it to the edge, and 
bring the plate right here and tilt both together and then tilt this. Then what you have there is a beautiful looking omelet. Not like the omelets that they serve you in diners which are flat and cooked on a grill. What can you, this, you can accompany this with uh, whatever you like. I usually just have toast, sausage, ham, but you have salmon. Ham and salmon goes great together. Hope you enjoy it.